Okay, so there's no way of... Um, well, we're asked to define the value of the function at the origin so that the function's continuous. Yes? This one? You need to... Okay, um, so the big question is, what is this value? Whatever that, if that limit exists, some, some number, we will choose that to be the value of f of 0, 0, so that the function is continuous. Okay, so we're going to, Switch, Oops, switch to polars, so polar coordinates. Oh, I need that back now. And if limit exists, then what we're going to do we're going to consider the following limit. Okay, so we replace x with our cos theta, y with our sine theta. We're going to get... At the top, we're going to get sine r squared cos squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta. And similarly on the bottom... So at the top, I'm going to get sine of r squared. And on the bottom, I'm going to get r squared. Now, what is that limit? Anyone remember? It's a special limit. One, right. Now, you can confirm that a couple of ways. If you want to, you can use um, uh, Le Hopital's rule here, if you really wanted to. But it's something that I guess you should, you should really know from, um, uh, from high school. Okay, so thus we choose or define f at the origin to be 1. To ensure continuity at the origin. <coughs> 